Good morning, everybody. Good, good morning, morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, what is it? Nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Good morning. Great. 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 Awesome. Morning, awesome. Sir. awesome. Sir. Welcome. Welcome to day 78 of uh, morning, the sir. lifetime. Good morning, sir. Yes, good, morning, good, morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Are we all ready for the rituals? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, wonderful. So from today, for a few days, I will take you into an entire journey of your life. Okay, so we're going to do something which is called the personal peace procedure. It's a very powerful procedure designed by Gary Craig. Gary Craig is the founder of EFT. So he says that if you just go through your entire life, Right from the time you were born till today and just break up your life into five-year time periods. Zero to five, six to 10, 11 to 15, eight to 20. And then just scan everything that happened in that time, time period. And if you tap out everything, all the challenges of life dissolve. Because as we go through life, we come across so many little, little things that happen, right? For a little baby who is zero to five years, even going to school for the first day is a big thing. <laughs> so it's like it's like a traumatic experience for a little baby. Okay? We feel, oh, that is, you know, it was such a, a small thing. But for a little child, it is a big thing. So as we tap through our entire life, uh, all those emotions which may have got stuck, and that is basically the root cause of all illnesses. You know, that stuff that has happened in our life. Uh, these, we call them traumatic situations. Something which creates trauma. What is the meaning of trauma? Emotions, a lot of emotions got generated. We never knew how to take out those emotions within us. So they got stuck. We, that is basically called a freeze mode. We didn't know what to do. It was a hopeless, helpless situation. And then we have those emotions stuck inside us. Or jitna jada accumulation hota hai, utna jada challenges start happening in our life in all dimensions. So are we ready for the journey? <laughs> it's going to be a pretty detailed journey. Are you all ready? All yes, set? Yes, okay, yes, fine. So I'll take you. We will regress. We will go backwards. And then we'll start all the time from where we were born till today. But this we will do it over a couple of days, not in one day. Okay, because it's a very long journey. Take it once. Let us bring ourselves to the present moment. I'm just going to mute everybody. I would also like to welcome some of the new members who have finished the five-day morning miracle ritual program. And some of them are going to join us today. So, warm welcome to all the new members. So everybody, gently close your eyes. Just bring your complete awareness into this moment. Become completely aware of your breath. Pay attention to the air which is going in through the nostrils. And then the air which is coming out from the nostril. Just pay attention to the flow of this air.
एंड बिकम अवेयर ऑफ वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन योर बॉडी साइड योर बॉडी क्या चल रहा है You feel the abdomen muscles going up and down. And you feel the air where it touches your skin. Now, ध्यान दीजिए क्या हो रहा है आपके skin में Pay attention to your heartbeat. Now become aware of what is going on around you. As pas kya chal raha hai? Can you listen to the gentle? sound of the appliances very gentle and today i can hear the birds chirping as well and as you become aware of all that is going on in the present moment you are now completely into the present moment the most beautiful moment of our life so we are going to do some tapping work let us start with the karate chop point 35 times tap kariye yahan pe wonderful and we are going to go all the way back to our childhood try to remember as early as possible you were a little baby who was there in your family kya aapko yaad hai kaun kaun tha aapke parivar mein and how were you feeling try to remember all the beautiful experiences some good some not so good But focus on the time period of 0 to 5 years you were very little remember your mom remember your dad what did you call your mummy daddy you called them mummy daddy mom dad papa mummy what did you say remember what your mom was feeling at that time what were the experiences that you were experiencing that moment घर में शांति थी झगड़े थे क्या था एंड इफ यू कैंट रिमेंबर एनीथिंग गिव अ कमांड टू योर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड show me the memories from 0 to 5 years main aapko ek command dena hai ki us main ki sari smritiyan yahan dila de
Do you have siblings, brothers and sisters? What did people tell you at that time? Did you experience love? Did you feel very safe? Did you feel appreciated? Did you feel the other way around? If focused on zero to five years, you have some photographs of that time. Do you remember some movies that you saw, some Bollywood movies? <clears throat> And at some point, you had to start going to school. What happened at that time? you will experience both the feelings, positive and the not so good feelings. Now let's go to 6 to 10. We'll cover two time periods today. 6 to 10. Probably in the senior KG first standard what was happening? Did you experience love, appreciation, and did you feel safe? That is the basic need of a child. Love, Feeling appreciated, feeling wanted, and feeling safe. Did you get that? I was a little overweight, so I remember people used to make a lot of fun. happened to you at that time between first to fourth standard
remember your school remember your teachers did you do well in school Do you remember any memories of going out on vacations with your parents, or any other things that made you really feel down, sad, upset, angry? We play all the memories. Enjoy the memories. Your mom, dad, grand, the grandmother. yourself as you're growing up in this big wide world you did not know so many things but you still made it happen Okay, we'll take one last round. Remember the little you trying to make it in this world, trying to feel appreciated, trying to feel loved, trying to feel safe. And wanted. What did you feel? Wonderful. So let's finish up here. Let's take three deep breaths. Nail from your nose, exhale from your mouth. Okay. Open your eyes and have some water. There's a pani pili je. Always have some water after tapping. Now let us be grateful 
to all those people who were there in a life from 0 to 10 years. Whatever you remember, people around you, maybe your teachers, maybe your mentors who came into your life, supported you. And in spite of all the challenges, you made it happen, right? So you have to be grateful to yourself also, to your strength and how you were able to face those situations. Good ones, not so good ones, all of that, right? So before we do that, let's close our eyes and give a nice hug to that little one. Then we will express gratitude. Give a nice hug and tell that little child that I am your future and I have come to give you lots of love. Give a nice hug to that little child. You can also hug yourself at that, this moment. Say, I am your future. All is going to be well. I love you and I appreciate you for whatever you're doing. And you are completely safe. Make the baby feel safe. Make the child feel loved and wanted and appreciated. That is your beautiful inner child from 0 to 10 years. Okay, so now bring yourself into the present moment. Let's do a little gratitude. Okay, be grateful to all those people, to all the things you had at that time. Whatever you remember, just be grateful because in spite of everything, you made it happen, right? Let's do gratitude for a few minutes. Just be deeply grateful.
Let's take one minute, one more minute. Once you're done, you can just be close your eyes and be deeply grateful to God for taking you through those beautiful years of childhood. I know it has opened up many memories for many people, but it's a good, good thing to release anything which, which we had held at that time. So, in के समय में भी अगर आपको कुछ feelings आते हैं तो एक बार दस मिनट tap कर लीजिए these all those emotions close your eyes give lots and lots of love to that inner child say thank you to God taking you through that beautiful time some difficult times some beautiful times you'll find that God has always sent angels in some way or the other even if they were difficult times, there's always somebody who comes, takes care of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful, and we're going to seek forgiveness. We just pray to God. Dear God, if I have hurt anybody knowingly, unknowingly, directly, indirectly in this life or any of my previous lives, if I have hurt anybody through my thoughts, my words, or through my deeds, then please forgive me and release me from those karmas. I seek forgiveness from the bottom of my heart. Hey, Paramatma, if I have hurt anyone, I don't know, I don't know, directly, indirectly, in this life or in the past, if I have hurt anyone, 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 I have so I want to seek forgiveness from the bottom of my heart. Please, मुझे क्षमा कर दीजिए और मुझे उन कर्मों से दे दीजिए. Let this prayer go out from the bottom of. There are so many things that we may have done which we don't even know. God knows everything. He is, keeps an entire accounting. Dear God, please forgive me. And as you know, God is always very, very kind. He is nothing else but unconditional love. That's the only energy God has, unconditional love. So we will request him to send his unconditional love through every single cell of our body. Creator of all that is, it is requested that unconditional love, safety, security, and unconditional acceptance 
is sent through every single cell of all the participants of this 5 a.m. club and their family members. And this be done in the highest and the best way in all areas of their life. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me. Witness a beautiful energy of unconditional love coming from the Creator. Falling on all of us like a beautiful waterfall. Entering the body from the crown chakra. Passing through every single cell of your body. 50 trillion cells of your body. And as this unconditional love is flowing through the cells, it heals every cell at a physical, mental, emotional and a spiritual. All dimensions. So feel this shower of unconditional love flowing through every single cell of you. And removing all those patterns, all those emotions which are not required. Releasing you from all those parts. Visualize all of that going away in the form of a black gas or something of that sort. Just going away. And this unconditional love is also reaching out to all those parts which need healing. Unconditional love can heal anything. So visualize this beautiful unconditional love reaching out to all those parts of the body which are hurting right now. problem heal Thank you, thank you, dear God, for your unconditional love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So just stay connected with God through meditation. Just stay connected with this intelligence. Just focus on your breathing. And notice the presence of the Almighty in everything. Presence of source energy inside you, outside you, in every single thing. Presence of the source energy. I will request the creator to create complete silence in your mind. Can I do that for all of you? If you want it, you have to say. Creator of all that is. It is requested that a complete silence created in the mind for the next three minutes. This be done in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me.
Wonderful. Notice the complete stillness in your mind. The feeling of being connected to the infinite intelligence is operating within you and in every single thing that is there in this universe. It is that energy which binds the entire universe together. As you are connected to this energy, you can visualize in your mind of what you wish to create in your life. Can I request the creator to make your visions and dreams come true? If yes, say yes. Creator of all that is, it is requested that the visions and goals and dreams of all the participants in this 5 a.m. club who have said yes, that their dreams and visions and goals manifest in their life now in the highest and the best way as per the creator's perception. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me. So now witness your life in your mind the way you want it. First of all, witness your health. Visualize your health. Look at your body, full of energy, strength, flexibility, resilience, able to do unlimited work, always cheerful, smile on your face, feeling joy, happiness, inner peace, fulfillment. Face is radiant and vibrant. All reports are normal. Take a moment. If you have any other goals, visualize that they are complete with respect to health. Look at yourself in the mirror. How are you looking? Full of energy, enthusiasm. Vibrant, much younger, completely fit. And what are you feeling when you have this health? Also notice how you take care of yourself. What kind of food do you eat? You eat nutritious food. Sleep well in the night. Exercise. Go get up in the morning, do your rituals. And you're so proud of yourself that you have gone through this entire journey of wellness. And today you're absolutely fit and fine. And you're very grateful to God for helping you create this amazing help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Visualize your relationships. See all the family members, all of you are seated together on a dining table, having a meal together. See this cheerful, smiling faces. One at a time. Look at everybody's face. that all of them are happy, healthy, peaceful, prosperous, exploring their highest potential. And there's so much of harmony, understanding, cooperation, admiration for one another, acceptance, compassion. Feel the harmony in your house.
when you are so grateful to god for when you see these amazing relationship and how are you feeling feeling loved and supported and appreciated and wanted feeling safe take a moment to visualize your workplace and see the success you are creating in your workplace minimum efforts maximum results come up with amazing brilliant ideas you attract lucrative opportunities they just seem to come to you when you recognize those opportunities you convert them into reality and it happens with ease and through your work whatever work you're doing you're touching lives around you adding value to their lives making a difference reaching out to more and more people making a difference to your product services whatever you're doing you will thank you and this beautiful success that you're creating in your work is allowing abundance to flow into your life you may not be a direct earner maybe a senior citizen maybe you're a homemaker you need to visualize the prosperity coming into your house through whatever means visualize abundance coming into your life to the earning members of your family to whoever is ever way let it be open let the universe decide visualize abundance coming into your life money flowing into your life and this is allowing you to fulfill all your dreams your family's dreams aapka har ek sapna pura ho and how is that making you feel you are able to manifest all your dreams and you're giving back so much in your life you're motivated to do more and more for others as well contributing back giving back to the society making a difference and as you're going through the journey of life you're seeing yourself evolving developing the qualities and virtues becoming a better person every day developing the virtues of confidence of passion creativity courage and compassion and kindness as you see other people don't judge them anymore it's only love and compassion for everyone and are deeply grateful to god for helping you create your amazing life visualize that all your goals are complete i'll give you one more minute visualize your goals the most important goals see that they are all come true
and just take a moment to visualize that thousands of people are getting together in the 5 a.m. club. We don't know how and from where people are joining in. They're all coming and making their lives better and better day by day. Empowering themselves. Tools, techniques, etc. To live a happier, healthier, more successful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear God. Let's take a moment to pray for all those who are in need right now. Dear God, please help those in need. Send out your unconditional love. See it flowing from the middle of your chest, from your heart center. Beautiful, divine, white light. Coming out from your heart center, filling up your entire home, covering all your loved ones. Expand this into your office, covering all your colleagues, all the employees, whoever is there. Fill up your office with this uncut. Expand it into your city, covering all the people in your city, then into your state then expanding to your entire country, like most of us are in India. Visualize that your unconditional love is reaching out to all the 1.3 billion people and all the living beings, the flora and the fauna, plants and the animals and everything. Expanding into the continent of Asia, beautiful unconditional love which is then expanding into the entire planet, covering all the 7.3 billion beings and all the living beings. And pray to God for his healing energy to reach out to all the people, including you. Visualize a shower of his beautiful healing energy falling on the entire planet Earth reaching out to every person. And as the shower of healing falls on every person, the person gets completely healed physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You can see a world of empowered people living happy, healthy, successful lives, having more kindness, more compassion for one another, helping one another. See a beautiful world. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do a theta download. So today's download is I am kind and happy. I care about those around me and I draw good friends. Can I download this program for all of you? Say yes if you wish to download. Creator of all that is, it is requested that the program, I am kind, I am happy. I care about those around me and I draw good friends into my life. That these programs are downloaded and instilled in all cells and all belief levels for all the participants. I've said yes. And this be done in the highest and the best way. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. Please show me. Witnessing the beautiful energy of this program coming from the seventh plane, from God, falling on all of us like a beautiful water. Entering the body from the crown chakra, filling up all the 50 trillion cells. With the program, I am kind. I'm happy. I care for all those around me. And I draw good friends into my life. And now these programs are instilled at all cell levels and all belief levels. Thank you. It is done. It is done. It is done. When we do these downloads, every cell emits the signal. 
So when you emit a signal, I'm kind, I'm compassionate, I'm happy. You will attract all those situations into your life which will make you that what you are speaking. Cells, every cell sends out a signal. Here we are reprogramming the cells. Let's create a beautiful shield around us for protecting ourselves from any influences. Think of yourself. Say the word shield. Then visualize a beautiful shield around you. A beautiful white divine light around you. And the outside surface is a mirror which is reflecting outward. This is the shield which will protect you from any negativity of the external world. Visualize this beautiful divine white light around you. This is the light of God. Nothing can enter into this. No negative stuff. Now visualize your family members. And say the word shield and visualize a beautiful white light around them. And visualize all your valuables, specifically your home, your office, your business, your career, valuables, your car, whatever is there, important to you. Hold a thought of all those things in your mind and say the word shield. Visualize a beautiful white light around all of that. Visualize the beautiful planet Earth and say the word shield. Visualize a divine white light around the planet. Protecting our beautiful planet. And now slowly bring yourself into the present moment. Noticing that there are 198 beautiful souls around us who are attending this morning session. Deeply committed, disciplined, having a deep desire to create a beautiful life. These are people who do not accept any excuses. Come what may, they get up in the morning, they do what is supposed to be done, whether they like it or not. That is self-discipline. That is who you are. So visualize in this moment these beautiful souls who are there around you, same level of commitment and discipline. Become aware of your breath, the space that you're occupying on your chair, Noticing where your body is touching the chair. And as you become aware of all these things in the present moment, you may rub your hands. And as you rub your hands, you are sending energy to all your organs. Placing them on your eyes, like a beautiful cup on your eyes. Then taking your palms away from your eyes, slowly opening your eyes with a blink, watching your two palms and making a beautiful wish for today. What is your wish for today? Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then put your fist out in the air and say, yes. Today, something amazing is going to happen. Like yesterday, how see Chaitanya met <laughs> our own Narayan Murthy. Isn't that a miracle? <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Chaitanya sitting right, right next to Nar Nar you know, Narayan Murthy. That's an amazing miracle. So I expect to have these miracles in your life. I expect to see miracles today. I expect to, this day to be the best day in my life. And say yes once again. <laughs> Wonderful. 
give a nice hug to yourself. You did an awesome job today by doing all your rituals, getting up early in the morning. Discipline and the commitment is what counts. Okay. Give a nice pat on your back. Give a nice hug to all your family members. And go out and make the best of this day. Okay. So make the best of all the rest of the 23 hours. First of all, go out and exercise for half an hour so that you are also taking care of your bodies. So yesterday when we were talking about Einstein and he said, if you judge a fish by the ability, its ability to climb a tree, then it will think that it is a fool all their life. You know, I don't know anything about it. Because in the fish, the fish has the capability of swimming and you know enjoying in the aquatic world. So there are tests available. So just to bring this into your awareness, there's a test which is called the fingerprint test. Fingerprint test can actually help you to know what your talents are. We have eight of these talents. Everybody has different talents. Everybody is different. Look at all the different talents that people have. Some people are not good in studies, okay? but they are good in maybe nature. They're nature lovers. Maybe they're good in dance. So their kinesthetic intelligence is high. That is why they can move their bodies like anything. You know, nobody can, no other people can't do that. Some people are very good in music. Some people are very good in logic and, and mathematics. Some people are good in interpersonal skills. That means they're able to, you know, relate to other people beautifully. They're able to understand other people. So they can go and do that work very, you know, like marketing people, sales people are very good. They can communicate so beautifully, easily with other people, understand other people's emotions. This is not all in the inside. Some people are like me, intrapersonal. <laughs> intrapersonal means they like to be with themselves. As far as work is concerned, you will never feel that I'm intrapersonal, right? <laughs> but once my work is over, then I'm happy alone. I want to stay alone. I want to be with myself. I want to spend more time with myself. There are many people who love to be with themselves. Nothing wrong with that. It's a, just a different personality. So for your work purposes, you may do everything. So there is people who are visually very good. These are people who are designers, architects. They can see the picture in their mind before it is created. So to do this, basically, the test helps you to understand your innate talents and abilities. All of us must understand our talents. Very helpful for students and professionals who are confused about their careers. They don't know what to do. Some children, so many children come today and they say, Sir, I like this, I like this, I like this, I like this. What should I do? They, this test helps them to make informed decisions for their careers. Uh, we all have, we're blessed with eight intelligences. So we need to find out what is that intelligence that we are good or, good at. Like when I discovered that I'm very good in speaking, my language abilities are very good, my ability to connect with people is very nice. So that helped me to understand that, yes, this is a good work for me. Right? Some career build even some people in their you know, uh, middle of the careers, they also feel confused that I don't know what to do. So how does this happen? From your fingerprints, how can you come to know? So there's research done that between the 13th to 21st week of pregnancy in the mother's womb, the fingerprint development and the brain development happens together. That is why from the fingerprints, you can understand the brain map, the structure of your brain. And you can understand what are the specific talents you have. Therefore, the study of fingerprints indicates clearly what your abilities are. It helps us to understand our self. It understands, helps us to understand our abilities to save so much stress, money, time if we do the right selections based on what we are made for. Paramatma ne hum sabko alag banaya, sabko ek alag dhang se banaya hua hai. Har insan ke andar ek special quality hai. Us quality ko pehchanna, us quality ko express karna. This is one of the things that makes us joyful, makes us happy. These tests are available. We do these tests. We have 250 people all over India. They are all certified. If you are interested in doing this test, you can reach out to our team. I will run a quick poll here today. Okay, so just 
in case you are interested in doing the test, then we'll have our team members call you. So the first option is, yes, I'd like to do a test. We'll send you the abilities, the details of the test. We'll connect you with one of our coaches and counselors. The counselor can help you to do a test for yourself, your children. So it just becomes so much easier to know yourself better. Okay, so take a moment to just respond to this. Some of you may have already taken the test. We'll reach out to you. Taista from my team will reach out to you and she will connect you to some one of our coaches all over India. Okay. Wonderful. Awesome. So I'll just give you 15 seconds more in case somebody wants to respond. Okay. Thank you so much. In case you missed the poll, you can always talk to us, send us on the group. So it's time to say goodbyes. Take a moment today. This is your challenge. Spend some time in understanding what are you really good at and what are you very naturally good at? What gives you ultimate joy? Which are those activities that make you lose track of time? You don't know how much time has gone by. This is a sign of something that you love to do. So I know there might be questions, but can I hold the questions because there's another session that I'm already getting late at. So if you can send the questions on the group, Sri Kumarji, I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I'm just going to unmute everybody to say goodbyes. One second. Thank you. 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 Thank you.